Today I'm going to be reviewing the Monument Grills 4 burner propane grill with side burner and rotisserie kit. So let's get right into this. I was contacted by Monument Grills. They asked me if I would like to pick out one of their propane grills and do a little review on it and do some cooking videos with it. So I told them I'd look on their website, see what kind of grills they got, see if there's one that I'm interested in doing a review on. Now, once I got to the website, I realized they had a huge selection of different grills and they actually do make pellet grills as well. But they asked me to do a review on one of their propane grills. So as I was looking through, I found a nice four burner propane grill they had and it had a nice side burner, which I really liked the option of having a side burner on it. But the big thing that I had was a rotisserie kit. So I've been looking for a rotisserie kit for quite some time now. So when I saw they made a propane grill with a rotisserie kit, I had to jump on it. So I emailed them back, told them that's the one they wanted. They sent it right out. So I received the grill pretty quick, came in a big box. Now I do want to tell you if you order one of their grills, especially one that's four burner or bigger, it's pretty heavy. If you're going to be moving the box around, you're going to need at least two people or a hand truck. So just keep that in mind when you get it delivered, maybe have them deliver it to the location you're going to be putting the grill together. Now, the other thing is you're going to have to assemble the grill. The assembly was pretty straightforward and easy. The whole top of the grill is already assembled. So you're really just doing the base. I was actually pretty surprised how easy it was being such a big grill with all this integrated features and whatnot. So the assembly went well. I started the grill up and this thing is awesome. It's got a fantastic look to it super clean all stainless another great feature it's got is these lighted knobs which I love especially at nighttime so you don't have to be looking where you set the dials at it's all lit up it's also got a USB plug so you can charge your phone you can plug your thermometer into there if it's dead just a big fan of this grill so I'm gonna do a review on this grill and then I'm gonna do a little steak cook so let's get right into it so here's the grill as I said full stainless steel construction gives it a really beautiful look got those nice knobs on there now if you come down to the bottom here inside the door this is where your propane is going to be located you can see there's plenty of room in there you can put other things in there if you want now if we open the other door you can see this is where the propane hookup is and you have your propane tank lock and let's check out the side burner this thing works absolutely awesome a really nice option on this grill it's got a nice lid to cover it up now the front has the monument grills logo and we also have a nice built-in thermometer which is a great option for this grill then you have a side table with some hooks that you can put your tools on it's basically got everything you need let's open this up you can see we got nice ample cooking space here on the bottom grates plenty of room to cook a lot of food then up top you have a nice little warming rack which is an awesome option as well. Now here on the side you can see this bracket. That's where the rotisserie motor is going to go to. Sit right on there then your spit is going to run through this notch here all the way to the other notch. And when you close the lid it will allow the rotisserie to spin. Now we have three separate grates on here and they each easily just pull right out like that. This is going to make for some easy cleaning. Just pop out all three grates. And if you come inside, you can pull the cover right off of the burners. Easy cleaning. That's what I really like about this grill. You can pull this completely apart, give this thing a really nice deep clean. And then just pop everything right back together. Now on these grill grates, you can see there's a V shape to them on this side. You also have the option of flipping the grate over and you have a flat spot. So if you want to get some nice wide grill marks, you can just set it up like this. I prefer to set it up with the V up. So that's how I'm going to have my grill set up. Let's pop this grate right back in. Now under here in the propane, I want to show you it's got this little drip tray. Pull that out, you just drain all your grease. I would suggest maybe lining that with some tin foil, make some easy cleaning. Now, come to the back of the grill here. There's a little tray under here, right there. You just grab it, and then you can just slide it right out. 
and look at that. Super easy cleaning. Pull it out. You could even pressure wash this if you wanted to. Again, your best option might be to cover this all up with some tin foil. Make for easy cleaning. But either way, it's nice that you just pull this right out, get everything cleaned up, and then slide it right back in. Now here's our electronic ignition. And then over here, you have your USB port and your button for your knob lights. USB port is a nice little added feature that I like. And if we go ahead and just click this light button on for the knobs, you see they're all lit up nice blue like that. Very, very nice feature. And like I said, this is awesome for nighttime use. And the side burner knob lights up as well. Quick break in the action, guys, to let you know that I've teamed up with Monument Grills and we are going to do a giveaway for their 24-inch charcoal grill. So this is a really nice grill. It's got a very large cooking area to cook plenty of food and it also has a nice warming rack. It's got a nice front access door so you can easily add more charcoals or wood chunks as needed. It's also very easy to adjust temperatures with an adjustable charcoal tray. It has two large rolling wheels making it very easy to move around and has two side tables that'll hold all the food you need while you're getting ready to cook. It has a total of four vents which is an awesome design to make air circulation absolutely fantastic. Now it also has an ash pan that's easily removable for quick and easy cleaning. So I'm going to give you three different options to enter this giveaway to win this grill. First, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, then head on over to Monument Grills and subscribe to their channel as well. Next, like this video and leave a comment down below saying I want this grill or tell me what the first thing you would cook on the grill if you win. Next way to enter the giveaway, head on over to my Instagram at Smokestack Joe's. Make sure to follow my Instagram as well as Monument Grills Instagram. I'm going to have a post on Instagram, so find that post like the post, head on down the comments, same thing, leave a comment, I want this grill, or tell me what the first thing you're gonna cook is. Now, the final way, just send me an email at info at smokestackjoes.com with the subject line, I want this grill. So that's three different ways you can enter. And if you do all three of those things, you will have three different entries to win this grill, giving you a better chance to win. So make sure to do all three if you can. If not, do one, two, whatever. But good luck to everyone in the giveaway, and let's get back to the video. All right, so that is the Monument Grills 4-Burner Propane Grill. This thing is really cool, but let's get it put to the test. I'm gonna grill up some nice New York Strip steaks. Here's our New York Strips. Just gonna season them real quick with a little salt, pepper, garlic, and then onto the grill they will go. All right, so that was the review of the Monument Grills four burner propane grill, and you can see why I enjoy it so much. It cooks fantastically. It is such a nice, clean looking grill, and the extra feature of that side burner is perfect for melting some butter like I did on those steaks, but you can also heat up a barbecue sauce. There's so many different options. Another thing is if you're doing some sort of frying in a pan and you don't want to make a mess in the house, go ahead, bring it out, throw it on that burner. That burner works so good. It heats up a pan extremely quick. Now, I'm going to be doing a bunch of fun cooks on this grill in the future, so you're not gonna wanna miss out on that. And if you are interested in one of these Monument Grills, I will put a link down in the description below so you can check them out as well. Now, if you're a new viewer and you don't wanna miss out on any of the new cooks on this Monument Grill, make sure to subscribe to my channel and you can do that right over here. Now, if you wanna see some of my other videos, some barbecue videos, you can check this one out right over here. But I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Get out there and smoke something good.